This is a 2018 Porsche 991.2, second generation, 911 GT3 RS in lizard green, and isn't it fabulous? What a vehicle. The car is here this week for quite an extensive detail, preparation package, protection package, old PPF, which is questionable with some interesting coverage and trimming. It's coming off the car at the owner's request. Full prep and polish to the entire vehicle is being performed before full body PPF goes down in its place courtesy of Suntech Reaction. With the PPF installed, it's going to be coatings for the rims and calipers, coatings for the PPF itself, and finally some interior work. So that and a whole lot more in this episode of What Details. Okay, so welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're outside and straight back in. Before we do anything, there's a whole lot of PPF that might as well come off now. The car is somewhat clean, but before we do the prep and the decontamination, it's worth taking the film off now because the prep and the decontamination can help later with the adhesive removal. I don't know where this film was installed, but it's on the bumper, bonnet, wings, mirrors, a pillars, partial roof, nothing down the lower portions standard piece here there is film on the spoiler and then an assortment of pieces low down on the rear splash guards so there are some unusual additions so a standard piece there's a strip that's been put down there not very pretty the front offside wing here you can see has failed lifting not as bad as the near side but that's not ideal the decals along the side matte black satin but this piece has been wrapped over so that's actually now a gloss and when you do so you are left with a halo of air a bubble around the perimeter which can't be avoided so what we're doing is stripping the decals applying the film fresh decals over the top i think that applies to the spoiler as well on the whole, the bumper's pretty good. There's some half decent uh, joins here where the seams butt together. That's a little bit uh, questionable. The wing comes all the way back there when really you can actually get a bit of a wrap under the headlight. With this being a 2018.2, the headlights aren't an easy thing to remove. But first generation 991, you go in that way through the front, twist the bolt, the headlights pop out. Not the case in this one, but I plan to extend the wrap here to be able to tuck behind the weather strip of the headlight. There's been a bit of trimming on this wing. You can see there, hopefully, on the edge and certainly here. Not quite getting full coverage of the arch edge here either. You can see uh, it goes up and it becomes more covered, but there it's pretty much exposed. Some chipping here, there's no PPF. That's interesting. Look how far away the film is there. And here, top of the bonnet. Hopefully you can see there, it wraps inwards into the bonnet itself, but that should do the same on the top. But actually there's no wrap that goes over the top, so instead we're left with an edge all the way across the top. Standard OEM section here without the additional piece this side like there was on the off side. What I'll end up doing is the rear quarter which of course is the side skirt all the way over the top and down, that's all one piece. But with that down I will put <coughs> an additional splash guard over the top of that as a bit of a tear away, peel away section. And last but not least then is the spoiler, um, but look at how far away we are. There's a lot of room there to, I don't know if that's been bulked and trimmed. But what they have done is put the lettering over the top this time. 
otherwise that would be glossy. So there's film down and the letters are proud they are on top. So all of that needs to come off as well as the GT3 RS. I couldn't tell you what's happened here. That's pretty bad. Oh well. Now I've not been doing film a great deal of time, it's still relatively new to me. But as you can see there are certainly areas, as the owner suggested, that there are areas for improvement with the film. Bonnet badge. I have been requested to actually leave the badge, the sticker, the transfer in place when I do my film over the top, because I believe all of this starts to get very expensive by new decals and stickers. So for now, let's get to it. With the old film removed, we're heading outside for the full wash and start the decontamination process. With PPF, there's a huge emphasis on the cleanliness of the edges and the intricate hidden away trims and areas and the window rubbers. Especially on lizard green, flat green is going to be showing every single piece of contaminant or lint later on in the PPF stages. So it's extremely important that we get the car clean now and of course it will be coming back out again later for a final rinse after the polishing work is complete. Eventually the center locks will be coming off the car, the wheels will be removed. But for now it's a quick blast of the arches before moving on to the door shuts, before we go on to the trims and the rubbers, the pre-wash, the snow foam, the intricate areas where dirt is likely to accumulate and collect. And then finally you will see there were one or two stray tar deposits which were dissolved away safe. Thank you. 
Back inside now to start the clay bar decontamination. Even though the majority of the front end had been PPF'd already, there were still some stray contaminants, tiny, tiny pinheads present, which I removed that were otherwise under the old film. So we're full going over with the clay bar before we blow the vehicle dry, and then we can assess the paint condition. Okay, so at this point then, we are decontaminated, blown dry, ready for some tape to go down to protect the vulnerable areas. And then we can do some polishing. The Porsche RS products have an element of prep at factory before they leave. And said prep may include polishing and sanding. Sanding to remove uh, orange peel texture or denibbed areas which then should be polished up and brought back to gloss. Let me just kill the bit lights. There are multiple areas across the car where said sander marks here. And here across the edge there of the wing amongst the buffer trails, the holograms. But holograms and sander marks, man-made defects that want to come out. These want to be prepped, these want to be corrected and polished before we think about PPF later. Front bumper particularly bad. Around the back on the rear bumper, continues sender marks along this leading edge. The area where the PPF was, a small cluster here. There's a weird little abrasion there. Continues near side lower corner. High up on the roof, there's a lot of uh, hologramming buffer trails present here and then dead smack in the middle. Back here somewhere, uh, a nice cluster of sander marks where something there in the middle has been flattered, a denibbing session. The most time consuming spot and the most fiddly of the areas is the bumper. Rear quarters aren't too bad, but what we do have onto our chips that were exposed outside of the factory OEM piece of protection. Continues on this offside. That's the most unfortunate place. That is why the new owner has opted for a full car coverage because isolated pieces here and there for the impact areas is well and good, but at times it does pick up in other places. So really, it wanted to be a full body PPF from the very start, from the word go. And with the existing film off now, you can see even that the car at the time was brand new and brand new cars shouldn't need special attention or polishing or detailing. Uh, it's clear to see that amongst other manufacturers, uh, Aston Martin, and Bentley at times, Lamborghini, Porsche, the prep works, the sander marks, the buffer trails, even on a brand new car, a prestige brand new car, sports car, supercar, can still very much benefit from attention, detailing, and protection. So now it's over to me to perform a polish, some paint correction to remove the unsightly defects before we think about taking the car outside again to rinse it off to eliminate the dust, and then we move through next door on the laptop 
to start to plot the templates and use the software to cover the card. This is some super hard clay coat. Super hard. Good God, it's barely touched it. So perhaps one of the heaviest areas of Sender March on the car is this near side corner. Now, I've not been filming a great deal, uh, but you saw the diagonal 50-50 tape line. I've just hit this three times, this section, with a microfiber cutting pad and diamond cut 3000, which is pretty coarse. It's like I've not even been there. So, uh, there's the before and after line, look. There's improvements, don't get me wrong. It's gone from a, a light green to a dark green, which is nice, but look at all the ticks. Getting down into the very lowest corner here. Uh, you can see the three inches barely touched that. Well, it's barely touched that, to be honest. But <laughs> uh, The one inch will come out there, tidy these edges up, get the perimeter sorted. And then that's the bumper done.
few trim pieces were removed from the car to assist and aid the installation of PPF. The removal of the side vents and the rear quarters allow me to shrink the hole in the template to allow the edges to be invisible. The edges will be otherwise hidden beneath, behind the vent, as opposed to around the perimeter, exposed. Same applies to the light clusters at the back end, the side repeaters in the front end, and a few other areas. The idea being the less edges, the better. With that said, however, there are a few areas which is impossible. It's not feasible without completely dismantling the car. It's not possible to wrap every single edge, but we're gonna do what we can and where we can, which allows me to edit the templates, edit using SunTech Core, the software to add the additional extensions or the additional wraps in certain places. The next 15, 20, 25 minutes worth of footage will be the installation of SunTech Reaction.
nearly there. Just the bumpers, front and rear, which I've extended. I really haven't done a great deal of talking, have I, during the PPF, but it's just nice to get stuck in, get your head down, concentrate. But, right, anyway, on file, on software, the wrap ends at the light cluster. The idea of taking the cluster out, all that needs cleaning in there from the steam before we put film on, because of contamination, a possibility. But you can lose the edge, you can extend the edge underneath the cluster, which is great, which I've done. The bumper is a one piece section, it's behind you, I'll show you the set. Uh, but because of this swage line and the sharp curve under there, on this corner it splits from one piece into two, which then go either side of this line. That would be very difficult to get filled into there. So it butts down, butts up, it wraps around. Here we go, here's the bumper, so it's pretty difficult to see, but that incision there is the fog light. This section here is this section, and then you can see here it splits top and bottom, and then that butts up to there eventually. Quite enjoyed doing the spoiler, got that down nice and tight, drying out still. Um, I've got it a lot, a lot closer to the end of the panel there. Uh, we was a good three quarters of an inch on the previous wrap. It would have been a template to file, but they just didn't stretch it. It needs a lot of stretch that to get it taut and tight. However, what I do need to check is that the end cap doesn't rub against the edge of the film, because if it does, it's likely to want to lift. So I might end up doing a very, very slight trim. I'll put it on as a test, and then if it is touching up over the top, uh, the last thing I want in four months time is for that to be lifting. So yeah, pretty good, I'm impressed. Rear bumper, front bumper, headlights, we're doing the headlights, the Porsches if you don't know. There is a bit of a disclaimer that the customer needs to be aware of and it's up to them if they want to go ahead with the lights. With that, if the film ever has to come off, then the UV, the protection that's on the headlights, can be prone to lifting as the PPF is lifted. So you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't, because if you don't, they'll get chipped and road rash, and they're very expensive to buy and replace. If you do, you might get lucky. Uh, whoever takes the film off just needs to be aware, very aware of that, to take them off as safely as possible. So front and rear bumper, headlights, mirrors, still got them to do. And then I've also found a little piece of the GT3 RS sill. In fact, I will finish heat locking the engine cover and I will do the sill plate GT3 RS engines now on the basis that I've got one, two bumpers good to go, but the time is 20 to 12 and at 12 o'clock I've got to go and help a client collect their new Defender 90 from the local Land Rover dealership. So I don't want to get too caught up in jobs and then have to disappear. A little bit more PPF to do. Then we're onto the wheels, the calipers. Ooh, check this out. <laughs> Look at the amount of rubber. Somebody's been having fun. And this, by the way, is my new steamer. It's a Dupre, neat, and it is very neat. Lasts a lifetime. I'm very impressed with that. Let's turn off a minute. Link in the video description down below to Amazon. Back to the rubber. <laughs> Yeah, somebody has been having fun. And also, the little Lancia is here still. I didn't show you the engine bay on the episode, did I? I didn't do any engine work. It wasn't part of the booking. There was no engine booking to be done. Look at that, fabulous. But you can see it's had a lot of time, a lot of uh, money spent in the bay, getting it mechanically back up to scratch and upgraded, I would imagine. As is the paintwork, I have to say. So it's going to be heat seal here, door seals, Land Rover for the Defender, Lancia Ghost later this afternoon, and then I've got a Golf GTI Club Sport customer, potential customer, who wants to see the PPF product on the Porsche to determine whether they want PPF on their car in a month or two's time. Here's one made earlier. Mirrors and door sills. Part of the mirror, door sills. The paintwork really doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, it's nice to get it 
to a point, to a stage, to a condition that you see the defects and the swirling. Holograms there as well. Rotary polishing marks. I'm not gonna mask up this and start polishing. What I am gonna do is magic film over the top to protect future scratches and scuffs and abrasions, which is self-healing as well. Go over it with a hairdryer or heat gun, hot water, boom. There's clarity there, that's actually a little bit hazy still. There is moisture gonna be uh, drying out from that for the next 10 hours or so. Good.
Okay, we're very nearly there now, finally. Uh, BCO6 is down on the rims and the calipers, or the tar, the rubber, sorry, was sorted off the uh, caliper. The heat is back on in the unit and it's time for Modesta coatings to the bodywork, which is all PPF. There's been an issue with the decals, so it should say down here GT3 RS as before, Porsche up on top of the spoiler, etc. Um, they were due with me today. There's been a problem with the ordering process. They arrived with the customer. They should have been coming here directly. But actually, instead of it saying GT3 RS, down the side it says Porsche. So it's wrong. But actually, having seen the car in its current state, in its clean, naked um, form, the owner quite likes it. So we're staying, for now, without the decals. So time to get my coating on, and then it's finishing off the glass. The fabrics have been protected. Some interior work has been done already. Glass trim, build the car back together, put the vents back in place. Dress the tires and give the rims a very final wipe down. The rear tires are monsters. 325, Pilot Sport Cup 2.
Sadly, I can't take the car off the ramp just yet. I'm just filling time, if I'm honest. I'm waiting on a second person to come and help stamp on the brakes, to torque the wheels, the centre locks to 600 newton metres. Um, it's advised that it's done in the air as opposed to on the ground. So I need a second person. So until then, until then, I'm killing time. I'm learning Japanese because on Friday, I'm flying to Tokyo. Two weeks for Modesta's plus gone. Matashi wa Jim Des. I am Jim. Konnichiwa. Hello. Agenki da. Agenki deska. Agenki deska. How are you doing? So it's a shame about the decals down the side, the GT3 RS. There was a problem in the ordering system, apparently with the delivery for the customer, but they've decided to go without for the time being. This lens is really dirty. So recap, remove the existing PPF, localize paint corrections to remove the sander marks and the paint correction, full body PPF with Suntec reaction, which has been topped with Modesta, wheels and calipers coated with Modesta. And that's your lot. It's taken a very long time. So there's gonna be a bit of a break now before the next piece of content. I don't know when the next episode will be. I'm away for a fortnight, uh, so stay tuned. But be sure to find white details over on Instagram for behind the scenes content and daily updates. And also my own personal account, should you wish to follow. As I'm sure there will be plenty of updates there from Japan and Tokyo, which is on screen now. Jim WD, that's me, konnichiwa. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already, like the video if you've enjoyed, take care, stay safe, and sayonara, sayonara. Until next time, take care, stay safe, and bye for now.